Hey there my floor designers and creatives hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another video in this tutorial series on redesigning a mobile app. In the previous video we went ahead and critiqued the entire Fold Money app and we saw a lot of things that we could improve from a visual standpoint, from an interaction standpoint, from a product standpoint. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, that has to be fixed, right? And before we go ahead and dive into it, the first thing that we want to do is define the visual direction that we want for the app. Of course in the end we want it to be as clean and minimal as possible and since there's a lot of text information this app is going to be text heavy. So what is the best way we can get a good amount of balance? And that's something that we're going to explore in this video. I'm going to show you a lot of various possibilities and then compare that with Fold Money and then show you what I will choose as the visual direction because I want to set those constraints because that's going to help me design the UI and the entire design system as well, right? So let's get started. Now I sort of like to categorize it into four different elements. So we've got surface colors, you've got strokes, which is basically, you know, the borders of elements. You've got dividers and dividers are pretty much used to separate sections. Um, and then you've got shadows as well, which you use on, you know, elements. Now we have these four elements and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at multiple different apps that are there and see how they use these four elements. All right. So I got a few screenshots from Mobbin of different apps. Now this is Revolute and what you see over here is I've put all those four things which is basically surface colors, uh, strokes, dividers and shadows. As you can see over here, what they're doing is they have primarily, right? And what we want to look at is the majority of the use cases, you know, not all the use cases. How are 90% of the screens going to look? And as you can see over here is that what they've done is for separating out sections and elements, they have used just two surface colors. So you've got a pure white surface color and then you've got the secondary surface color. They aren't using any strokes anywhere. Strokes is basically around elements like the search bar, uh, the, you know, the tabs over here, the cards over here, the list items. None of them have strokes. There are no dividers to separate sections. So for example, this is a separate section and they've just used white space. And then there are no shadows as well, right? So over here, they're using just one of these and designing the entire app. And even though this is very text heavy and there's a lot of colors, it doesn't look that visually cluttered. Now, of course, you know, colors and typography and spacing, all of them do play a role, but this also, uh, these four elements also plays a very significant role. All right, let's look at another one. All right, this is Moniz and here, uh, what they're doing is they have used a single surface color. So it's pure white. And they've just used strokes around the entire set of components over here. As you can see over here, it's all strokes, right? So that's why I've highlighted strokes. They are not using shadows anywhere and they are not using any dividers between sections. So between get started and recently paid, there is no divider as such. It's just like flat and they're using white space and, you know, law of proximity to prepare that separation, right? Of course, typography is also playing a role over here. So as you can see the difference over here, here we have surface colors, which is two surface colors. And here we have strokes. All right, let's look at another one. So here, this is Airbnb. And what they're doing here is they're using two things. They're using strokes, which is to separate, you know, cards and elements and list items and all of those things. And they're also using dividers to separate sections, but there are no shadows and there are no surface colors, right? So we saw one, so we saw two examples where we have a single, uh, you know, of these properties used and here we have two of them. All right. And even if you see here for the button, they are using a stroke. Now, of course, the fact that there's a, such a big color difference is sort of really bothering me, but that's absolutely okay. They're not using buttons everywhere in the app. They use it only in a few places and it's okay to have a secondary button that looks like this in certain places. So we're going to let that go. But the most important thing is to understand is that they are using strokes pretty much in a lot of places across the app. So they use it for cards as well, not just for buttons. They're using it in many places. Um, and then you've got dividers as well. And you can definitely download the Airbnb app and check it out. Next, here we have a different combination, which is basically Google Fit. And they're using two surface colors and they're using shadows, right? I don't know if you can sort of see it, but they are using shadows. Uh, they are not using strokes or dividers. Of course, there should be more, uh, you know, gap and padding over here to separate both the sections, um, but they're not using any, you know, dividers and they're not using any strokes around elements as you can see over here. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty nice, right? Here they're using shadows, you know, even for uh, the tab bar, they're using shadows. They're not really using uh, dividers. As you can see over here, there's sort of, sort of a divider or a stroke as we could call it. 
but there's nothing over here, right? So as you can see, most of these apps are following or just picking two of these elements and incorporating it into their app. The moment you pick another one, it will start causing problems. And as and if you're not really good at UI design, you can completely mess up the entire app. So always try to stick to any of these two combinations, right? And as you can see over here, we are seeing we are seeing multiple combinations, right? Here we have strokes and dividers. Here we have stroke, I mean colors and shadows. Uh, let's look at another one, right? Um, here we just have dividers. So we saw just surface colors, we saw just strokes, and here we are seeing just dividers, right? So they aren't using any surface colors. They aren't using any strokes because every list item, as you can see, is like is like a flat item. And they're only using dividers to separate sections over here, right? So uh, that's pretty good. Um, here is another one, which they're using the fourth one. This is Apple News. They are using shadows over here. Uh, there is a very slight difference between the background color and the foreground color, but I'm not going to consider that. Um, and they are very definitely using shadows. We do have these dividers. Now, again, these dividers are inside the component as such, and it's not really separating out, separating out sections like this. And also the opacity is pretty small. So it's not really cluttering the UI because you know the big typography and images are sort of compensating for it. So it's not really, you know, these dividers are not really getting that attention. But as you can see over here, here the dividers do get a significant amount of attention unlike this, right? Because it's getting compensated with a bunch of information over here, right? So I will, you know, just select shadows in these cases, all right? Now, let's look at fold money, all right? So if I come over here to fold money, they are using all the three elements. Now, first of all, they are using surfaces. So they're using multiple surface color. We can clearly see that. They are using strokes as well. So, you know, every single list item has a stroke like this, all right? And they also have dividers to separate elements. So for December, they're using this, they're using this. And automatically we can just see that there is so much of noise, it's visually cluttered and it's not super clear and minimal, right? It's quite hard to explain this and sort of make you look at things from my perspective. But I'm just trying to make you understand that if you compare any of these other screens with the Fold Money screen, you can see that these other screens look a little bit more cleaner and minimal than this. Now, ideally, I would want a situation where we don't use multiple surface colors, we don't use strokes, we don't use dividers, we don't use shadows. There are definitely a lot of apps that do that. But the moment you add in more than two elements, things get a lot complicated, right? And here's another example. This is basically the transaction details. And here again, right, so they're using multiple, they're using two surface colors, they're using strokes, all right? Um, and they're using dividers. Now, in this case, there aren't sections as such, but these lines are do grabbing attention over here because they seem to be pretty evident, right? And so when you combine all of this, it feels like it's too much of an unnecessary. Now, they have followed a very similar approach when you look at Revolut, if you see over here. But of course, this looks a lot simpler because we don't have those strokes, right? But they don't use strokes anywhere in the app and that's a brilliant design decision. So if we come back over here, um, this is what we have. Uh, here's another screenshot from Fold Money. And here there's a bit of inconsistency. So for example, here they've got strokes, but here you don't have strokes. So that's a big inconsistency. Here you've got, you know, a two pixel line. So as you can see, this is a two pixel divider and this is a single pixel divider. And then you've got, you know, the divider here as well. And you've got a stroke here as well. So there is already too much going on. So basically the bottom line is you can either pick one of the options or so basically one element or a combination of two elements. Any of these will work. All right. And for this redesign, what I will do is I am going to respect some of their decisions. I'm not going to make the app completely different. But what I will do is from these four or basically from these three, I'm going to remove one of them. So just to recap, we have four of these elements. And what I will do is from these four elements, I'm going to pick these two. So we are not going to be using any strokes or any dividers in the entire app none of those and we're just going to use surface colors and shadows now of course i can just use surface colors like revolute and get it over with because it has a very similar language but let's not try to copy revolute and just add shadows a little bit of course in the end they are going to look similar and there's not much you can really do about it in this case uh, you have to follow these patterns so i will follow uh, this pattern where i am taking surface colors and shadows and in the entire app, I'm not going to use any strokes or any dividers. When we do this, 
Converting things to dark mode is going to be a lot simpler. Creating components, defining how they should look, the sizes, the spacing, all of that is going to be a lot simpler if we set these constraints, right? Now you can go ahead and look at plenty other apps and you will then realize that the moment you have more than these two elements, the screen does look a lot cluttered, right? And you can always get away with just using two or any one of these elements to make your design look clean and minimal. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you read, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. I'll see you guys in my next video. So, take care and bye bye.